in the world do life-changing drugs get to patients? Meet Amber. She suffers from COPD, which makes it harder to breathe. Amber manages her symptoms with a newly approved drug. But what did it take to get this drug to Amber? Let's go back to the very beginning. Years ago, a scientist working for a pharmaceutical company discovered something that seemed to address the symptoms and causes of COPD. That's when the drug development process really begins, which can take a lot of time, money and investment by pharmaceutical companies. First, the treatment must successfully pass preclinical testing to make sure it's safe to use on people. The pharma company will often contract with a clinical research organization, or CRO, to conduct clinical trials and help develop the drug. Before a new drug is given to people, an institutional review board or ethics committee must approve the clinical trial plan. Patient safety is priority number one throughout the process. Getting the drugs to patients as efficiently as possible is critical. To do that, CROs use innovative approaches to conduct these trials. Each phase involves a larger group of patients, with CROs and their pharma partners constantly evaluating safety and effectiveness. Working with the pharma company, CROs bring in physicians to recruit and work with patients. CROs monitor patient data so there aren't any unexpected side effects. They quickly adapt to new information to streamline the process. Then, regulators like the EMA and FDA must review all the data collected in the clinical trials. Once approved, the drug is then sent to market. Even after the drug is approved, CROs continue to monitor its safety and efficacy. That's how CROs help new treatments get to patients sooner. Patients like Amber. To learn more, visit acrohealth.org.